What is up? Wow. We made it, guys. We made it. TarverAcademy.com. That's where I'm from. I was gonna like make Batman eyes. Instead, I was making a smiley face. Eh, okay. I'm like you know, University of Miami. I don't care what you're associated with. Check out TarverAcademy.com. See if you like it. Okay. So we're looking at points, lines, segments, line segments. Points, and uh, let's just do lines. I don't know why I wrote that in like the weirdest order ever, but you're still gonna learn it because you're amazing and you love to learn, right? Maybe? Yes. Okay, so what we wanna do is we wanna compare points, line segments, and lines, okay? So we're gonna talk about them um, at the most basic level, okay? A point, right here. A point is also called a Everybody together, one, two, three. Coordinate, good job, it's a coordinate. Okay, you'll see them called that as well. A point is essentially uh, represented by a dot. It takes up no space in the atmosphere. It is telling us the location of one thing. So whenever you're on your iPhone and you hit maps and it drops that little pin, that's a point. It's showing you a point on that graph of the world or downtown, wherever you're lost in, okay? Now, whenever we label points, we label points with a capital letter. Usually you start at A and work your way down. Um, it's really up to you and whatever it is that you're looking at, okay? So if we would say point A or point B, okay? That's, that's coordinates. I just gave you two coordinates, also called points. Now, whenever you're writing a point, you would always just say point A, okay? Located at A. A lot of times you want me to say point. Okay, that's what you would do. All right. So, next thing we want to look at is check. We want to look at line segments. Okay, if something is a segment, that means that it has a clear beginning and end. It has an end point on each end and it's filled in with a line. Okay. So, for instance, if I want to make a line segment out of these two points, I would just connect them. It's supposed to be straight from there to there. A line is essentially a compilation of points all the way across, okay? So really a line is just stacked points all the way from end point to end point. That is a line segment, okay? Now when labeling a line segment, we, we put it as from the one end point to the other end point. We label it with the two end points, okay? So for instance, this would be line segment AB. But you don't just say A, B, because these are two endpoints, all right? You would say that. That shows that it is a line segment because it has an ending, a beginning and an end, and those are my beginning and end, okay? So like for instance, say I had a point in the middle, point C, okay? If I wanted to talk about this distance right here, I would say A, C. If I wanted this one, I would do C, B, but that would only be referring to those two, all right? For instance, AC plus CB equals what? AB. You just learned a little bit of geometry, ladies and gentlemen. So you would just say that segment plus that segment equals the whole thing, okay? Your endpoints determine which line you're talking about, and that all depends on how you label it. So that's line segments. The last thing check, we're talking about are lines, all right? Here's the difference between a line segment, or just a segment, sometimes they'll call it, and a line. Lines go on forever. Lines are forever, forever, like the song, Diamonds Are Forever, no? Okay, sorry. All right, so it would be as if this thing, like say this right here, went all the way through and extended forever, okay? It didn't stop at those. I could still talk about the segments if I wanted to, but if I'm talking about this whole thing and it extending as far as it goes on a coordinate plane or whatever it is I'm using, I would talk about it, let's do a line, a, B, and we do it almost just like this one, but how are we going to represent something that's not ending? Put an arrow on the end. That talks about line A, B, and we understand from the way I wrote that that it goes on forever. So those are the basic differences between points, line segments, and lines, ladies and gentlemen. You've also got a chance to look at how you would label those. I don't have a good marker. Boom, here it is. We would label it A, we label it AB and then line AB.
okay? So, tell your teacher how smart you are, love your life, love your dreams, love pizza. Make sure you check out tarveracademy.com, give it a subscribe, because that'd be really dope of you. Peace! Bye! I dropped my markers. Hey, Tyler here. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out tarveracademy.com.